Yes, people, welcome to a brand new episode of Titan Talk. Um, it's your boy Kyojin. And it's the kid AB. Uh, no special guest today. Um, so we're gonna have to do it. You're just gonna have to settle for us today. <laughs> no, I'm joking, I'm joking. But yeah, today we're speaking or we're talking rather uh, about ESO, the European Super League. Obviously, it was a bit of a I feel like it was a bit of a, it was slightly emotional time for a lot of football fans out there, which is kind of weird to say, isn't it? Like something like this would made people so emotional and like, do you know what I mean? I oh, saw so it only lost like two days. It did only last two days. I remember because I remember when when it first when the news first came out that all our clubs were going into the European Super League. We had literally just finished recording our last episode. Yeah, yeah. You remember? Yeah, and yeah. I, I literally got like a notification from Chelsea Football Club saying, "Oh, club." club announcement with joining the European Super League and we were just sitting like yo should we record another episode right now yeah we could have to be honest we stayed off a time yeah we could have but I feel like now we've got all the facts in it so it's a bit mm. easier to talk about it now that now that we got all the facts yeah. um, but I feel like to make it inclusive for the people that don't know about ESL uh, which includes AB <laughs> um, we should probably probably like explain what it is and what, what it meant like for the clubs um so last Tuesday was it last Tuesday? No, last Sunday. Sunday, so, yeah. Yeah, last Sunday night, like literally at like at eleven o'clock at night. Um a few teams, so there's like six teams from the Premier League, uh then Juventus, Barcelona, AC Milan, all these like big teams from Europe, they joined like a super league. So they wanted to leave the Champions League and make their own league that they're like their founding members on of and they can't get relegated from that league. Like they'll always be in that league. Uh, and I think we might have to double check this, but I think like the 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 funding going into that league was like seven billion or like three point five billion or something. What split amongst uh, those teams, yeah? Yeah, yeah. They're like they they would have got three hundred million each just for joining the league, basically. Mad. Yeah. Who's funding? Who's funding all of this? Though? Apparently, is uh, J.P. Morgan. Yeah, but so they wanted to like inject money into a new league. Um, and then and then it all kicked off. Like people were, were protesting. Um, the, the the fans were going crazy. The like the the managers were put in such an awkward situation because I remember like Chelsea's manager Thomas Tuchel, he had to come out and give a press press conference the next day, right? Mm-hmm. But it wasn't for the European Super League. He had to give a press conference just about the match that they were going to have on the Monday, uh, and he only found out that they're joining the Super League literally the same time that we all found out. Okay. So he's having to go into like a, a, a press conference with all these like angry journalists, and just having to be like, "Yeah, I, I know the same things that you know." And yeah, yeah. Y- you know, when you're under contract, you can't really, you can't be like, "Yeah, it's tapped." Oh, I wish they weren't doing it. Do you know what I mean? Because you're you're under contract. So what? What? Okay. So this. What, so surely there must be planning this for time, no? Uh. I've, the the main owner or the main person like the the president of Real Madrid in it, uh, yeah. Florentino Perez, he's been he's been floating this idea around f- for like the last decade basically since like two thousand nine. And I saw Wenger was doing the same as well. Like Wenger like pre- predicted it. Like he said, there probably will be a Super League. Like the Champions League money won't be enough for the big teams afterwards. Uh, because I was I don't know I, I saw it was like if you win the Champions League, what do you get? It was like you get like. F- like 100, 170 million, like 200 million, something like that, for winning the Champions League. Whereas this league, if for joining it, you get 300 million straight yeah, off the bat. Yeah, yeah for Do you know what I mean? so obviously, there's like a um, financial gain in it to go mm-hmm. that way. Um, but you know, it's a weird one because you know, I feel like if 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 you support or if you praise the Super League in any way, yeah, people are going to be like, oh, you're anti football. It was gonna ruin football, da, 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 all that stuff, yeah. And I, I, I think I feel like it would have ruined football, yeah. Um, because you see the way it works, yeah, is that like you see the six teams from the Premier League. Mm-hmm. Once once they once they join that, they got three hundred million, which means the rest of the teams in the Premier League are like the the the, the gap between them financially is a madness. Then yeah, yeah. Like they'll always win the Premier League. It will always be those six teams winning the Premier League because yeah, yeah. who else can compete after that? Yeah, uh, and then also like. The league itself was closed off in it, so you can't get relegated and new teams can't join. So that's like football doesn't really work like that. You're not meant to like have t- a competition where people can't join and where people are always going to be in it. There's like 
I think one thing important to remember is like all these big teams, they need to remember that there's no divine right to be like on top all the time. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? That's like, you know, you know when we used to go to school, yeah, in like six form and stuff, yeah, like even like MH, them man, yeah. Cause you know what people say, like, oh, I never expected our clubs to do this, yeah. But I expected it from people like Arsenal and Liverpool and Man United, you know. Why? Because they've all gone through like their history is so mad in it. Their history is so sick. And then they've gone through rough patches in, in the last like decade or something, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, and then their fans were like oh you know like Chelsea and Man City did it the wrong way like they feel like they have a right to be on top all the time mm. and now this new Super League was like okay here even though you're not on top right now like uh, what's it called Arsenal and Tottenham bro what position are they in the league fam Arsenal are 11th fam they're you know 11th I mean? yeah and, and like they, they were going to join this as a big 16 fam Man. you know how you know how mad that is that like I feel like these people think they have a right to be on top all the time and it, so, it doesn't work like that so, like, what qualified them to join it? His, history. Like, history, bro. Just, like, or oh, wow. all, all the fact that they made a deal with the other owners. Because they have American owners in it who are, like, very on it. And they, the way that, I think the way that they all sing it is, like, we're going to bump up the price of our club um, and then literally just sell them off in, like, six months down the, down the line. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But it, it, that as well, I was speaking to, to my friend the other day about it because even before this thing, yeah, I was speaking about how like all the all the fans of the big clubs that have a lot of history, they never want to see other clubs get big. And I was saying it's kind of like, I know people are going to be like, oh yeah, yeah, you're acting too woke and stuff like that. It, it adds probably at home thinking, no, 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 what this 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 makes no sense, yeah. But it's it's kind of like society, do you know what I mean? Like you see the way that like you see those clubs that are at the top. And then yeah. they want to be on top all the time and they don't want people to move around. But they want also they want that that image of like, yeah, if you want to, you can make it in life. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I feel like that's that's pretty much the same as like society, do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. You're getting a bit uh philosophical, fam. I I, I think it's 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 good though, like in the way this whole super league thing happened, yeah. Because I feel like a lot of football fans were learning like class consciousness. So I you disagree? Le- you disagree with the Super League? Yeah, yeah, I do. I disagree with the Super League only on the basis that like, you, I don't think there should be a competition that you should be in all the time. Like you have yeah. to earn your right to be in that competition. You need to qualify for that, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah, but I feel like, do you know what I mean? You can you can relate it to society. Like, it, life should be like a meritocracy, but it's not really, is it though? Do you know what I mean? Yeah, well, okay, it, it, it can never be. It can never the meritocracy. Be. Yeah. But it's it's, it's mad, isn't it? like people needed football to for them to open their eyes to like how unfair that is. Do you know what I mean? I'll be it's, honest. I don't. I don't. I don't. I definitely. I definitely don't think the vast majority is gonna be have is gonna like have that critical thinking, that relaying it into society. But then you know how mad that is that, that, that they can see it through the lens of football, but then they can't like open their eyes and be like, yo, okay, if 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 we expect like I don't know leads to come back from League One all the way up to the Premier League, surely we should expect for people in like in, in the lower classes and the working class to be able to move up classes. Yeah. I just, Do you know what I mean? I don't, yeah, but not, not, I don't think anyone is going to think that. I, mean, I feel, I feel there's, a, there's a few people in it that kind of like, was like, yeah, this is, this is like, I feel like everyone just turned into part-time socialists just for like two days and they were like, yeah. yeah. Do you know what I mean? Football belongs to the people. Well, why don't like, why doesn't our country belong to the people then? Why don't our resources belong to the people? It's crazy, isn't it? And the other, then the other thing, like, not to make it, well, I feel like we're going to go off on a, on a woke tangent, yeah? But to be honest, I'm taking it off on a woke tangent because I feel like, obviously, you, you don't watch football that much, innit? No, not at so all, I f- So I feel like if we stay too much on football, the, the general people might be a bit turned off, innit? No, it's um, fine, man. This, we've got to relate, relate it to, you know, uh, different audiences, you know? Yeah, but it's I just not, feel like... It's, it's, not, it's, it's not everyday relationship advice and total talk and tea talk, fam. <laughs> It's also it was also mad how like do you see the, the the way the fans quickly jumped outside the stadium they were able to like protest and like stop the players from going into the stadium. Yeah, but, or, or, say when say when a like an English player is getting racially abused and getting like bananas thrown at them and like yeah. and a monkey chance yeah then oh it's, it's like oh yeah that's they're a small minority yeah, yeah yeah they're just expected to play in it. You know what I mean? Or like or like people on going on Twitter and complaining like oh why are we still taking the knee 
it's like a political gesture da, da, da. but you can you can mobilize yourself for something like this do you know what i mean yeah it's mad man it's mad you know you know when i was a kid yeah i used to find it so weird that there was boys that didn't like football do you know what i mean like it used yeah. to confuse the hell out of me yeah. honestly it's gonna sound mad, mad like can- cancelable yeah but when i was a little kid i used to think they were gay or like not like i'm talking about like really really young when i was like eight or nine do you know I mean, I would just look at I'm looking at oh they must be into men then you know, if they don't like football. What? The, where? Where's the correlation? I don't know. Like it was just because because I liked football so much and all my friends liked football so much and like pretty much every boy that I knew would talk about football. When there was like the odd person that didn't talk about football, I just think to myself like, like what 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 went wrong? <laughs> <laughs> obviously, obviously to clarify, I don't think like that anymore. Obviously, I know that people have. I have their own interest in it But like, yeah. I yeah I think kid, football's just... dead you know that's, that's your opinion isn't it Apart from like The last time I can't be honest The last time I watched football Was uh, World Cup man And But when I was the World Cup I was like, proper in like, Involved in the, in the World Cup Do you get me Yeah the World Cup was lit man Yeah it was lit But I, 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 I don't watch like Bro there's like a game Every other fucking day fam <laughs> Yeah nowadays there's a game Like every day pretty much now Yeah uh, But that's even nice. then for me Like when I was a kid I used to watch I used to try and watch every game in it. Like every day, I'd, watch, I'd be watching football, or I'd be watching highlights on YouTube or something. Yeah, mm. but nowadays it's like, if Chelsea aren't playing, or it's not the final or something, bro, I can't lie, I can't be, I can't be fucked, man. Yeah, do you know what I mean, people like people try and get into football arguments with me, yeah, about other players' team, other other teams' players in it. I'm you just like, bro, mean. I'm gonna be honest, I don't watch your matches. <laughs> <laughs> do you know what I mean? <laughs> oh my god. What was I saying? What was I even saying? Oh, yeah. So, Lionel took you yeah, to the games. And then, and then um, so I was at the games and that, yeah. Mm. And then, um, like, all the chants and that, bro, it was sick, fam. I was like, right, these men are hooligans. Like, I love this shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Not saying I'm, the ho- I'm a hooligan or whatever, because I don't support mm. a team. But I, I support Arsenal, but I'm not, like, you know what I'm saying? You're not on it like that. I'm not on it. I'm not on it like Lionel. Like, if, yeah. If, if, like, if Arsenal was, like, if they were playing like if they're playing like a big game, I'll, I'll probably watch it in it. Mm. But then I would have free up my schedule to watch Arsenal game. You know oh yeah, I mean? free up my schedule to watch Chelsea every week. Yeah, that's my, I can never free up yeah. my schedule. I can't I can't I don't free up my schedule for nothing to be honest. You know what I'm saying? No, I don't like say like if, if I have something to do, I don't do anything like and like something else that like, I was supposed to do something and something else happen, comes up. I don't do the other thing that comes up. You know what I'm saying? So there's, there's no like sporting event that you're free free your schedule for. You free your schedule to watch UFC? I don't, bro, because UFC is always in the in the morning. I don't, I, I don't, I don't, I don't stay up, fam. Yeah, you know when it comes to UFC conversations, yeah, bro. I, I can't lie, I just watch the big fights, you know. You like, watch the big fights? No, fam. yeah. See, I, mean, I, I don't watch the small fights. Fam. No, the small fights, bro. That's where it gets scrappy, fam. Trust me. It gets scrappy, but then all my then my sleeping schedule gets scrappy. You know what I mean? No, that's what I'm saying. I can't, I can't. That's the another thing as well. I don't really compromise my sleeping pattern as well, it? so I just yeah. watch it, unless like. Um, because there was a couple fights that was in the in the night, like I think the last two, I think the last two Khabib fights were in the night. Um, the K- yeah, Khabib last Khabib fight was like at eight o'clock. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, so, yeah. Um, I watched the last the last fight, the only fight that I stayed up for. Actually, the most recent fight I stayed up for was Izzy versus Yan, innit? And Izzy that was lost in it. Yeah, that was a shit show, fam. That was such a shit card. No, it was a, it was a good card, but it was. I don't know, man. Inferior was a good card. Huh? Was, it, was it one of them ones when it? Inferior was a good card, but it just didn't work out like that. Kind of, kind of. Because I stayed, I don't know, maybe I was just pissed off because I was like, because um, I stayed up in it. From yesterday, usually usually the, the main fight, main event will finish around like 6.30 in it. Yeah. From yesterday's main event finished before it even hit 5 o'clock. It, what, what, what time? B- before it even hit 5 o'clock, bro. Is it? Yeah, because people were getting like Not destroyed down, like in the first like second. I'm so glad my guy Thug Rose, man. My oh, man like Rose get won. Out of here, get out of here. Man. I rate Rose, fam. I can't lie. I was I was I rooting for Rose to win, fam. I, I wanted Wei Lee to win, man. Nah, man. Fuck her. Bro, man. You, know, you, know that, you know that fight that she had with uh, Yoana? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, Fuck Yoana as well. That was one of the like my favorite fights of all time. You know? Yeah, no, no. I think that was, that was uh, Izzy versus Yo on the card, I think. And uh, Okomi, yeah, yeah. yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that, yeah that, I think that one fired the night as well. Probably um, fired the yeah, man. You know what I mean? Oh, there was something I was going to say, bro. I will, I will come you, see back Chris, to you see Chris Whiteman's leg? Yeah, and, and he, what's it called? 
he done that. Well, Anderson Silva have done that to him. Like, yeah, like he broke his own leg. Yeah. yeah. So, so I was saying it's, it's, it's getting passed on, isn't it? Like, uh, so he's going to be Uriah right Hall doing yeah, it to he, someone else. He, he, they were saying, like, he shouldn't throw a leg kick ever again in his life. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, after that, after that happened, yeah, even off, like the the match before that, I think the fight before that was like a, what's his name, Jute or or Chute? Huh? Like the fight before the couple, fight, couple couple fights before that, before the Shevchenko and and George fight. Oh, uh, I don't know. The, that guy like stepped on his leg and snapped his ankle. Do you know what I mean? And after that, I was just watching the like fights on edge in it because like they're not really like injuries that you're meant to get. Yeah. What fighting, do you know what I mean? So I was just watching it like they're they're on edge, man. But yeah, well, I, this is what I was gonna say. Apparently, um, Rose's husband met her when she was like fourteen, bro. But was he fourteen as well? He was like nineteen, apparently, or something like that. I, I, I don't know. Man. I just know. I just know. I just know fighting in it. I don't know. I don't know the the biography. We we'll have to put allegedly in it, so we don't get sued. Yeah. Allegedly. Sorry, what were you saying? I was saying like there, there was no indication that Masvidal. Deserve the rematch. That's what I mean. I think it's just got um, to elite, like because there was the bare excuses in it. Oh, like he was foot rubbing and stuff like that. And no, like um, because he had to cut like twenty pounds in like six days or something. Like, oh yeah, yeah. Then he, he gave him a whole camp. Yeah, and then um, I think that's why. But even then, lad, like, I, I like I knew I knew Usman was gonna win. There's nothing that Masvidal like, could bring to the table that Usman can't handle. Well, hasn't in my, seen before, like. In my, in my opinion, anyway. How about this year? In in their primes, Kamara Usman versus GSP. I've, I'm saying GSP, and I tell you why. I I tell you why, yeah. Yeah. Because GSP's fight, I can't I, I can't lie. I, I think I have. I don't think I've ever like seen a fighter whose fight IQ is as high as GSP's. Hmm. I feel like I'm not well versed enough to argue on that, but yeah. I, think... I think GSP is one of the smartest fighter ever, in my opinion. Anyway, yeah, but I think he's he's been outsmarted before, twice. And do you know what he done to the? He's come back for rematches, yeah, and obliterated them. Like I, 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 I think, them. I think GSP would have needed a, a rematch against Usman. You know, nah, man. If if you look at if you look at Usman's uh, record, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Well, he's got 14 wins in a row. He's, he's two away from Anderson Silva's record, right? Yeah. Wins in a row. And it's not like he's... I don't feel like he's fought bums. Do you know what I mean? But Considering he's he's also really, really good in the clinch, isn't it? So he's, 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 I'm, not, I'm not saying that he's a shit fighter. Don't get, me, don't get it twisted. Mm-hmm. I just think he's boring. And I just think GSP is bad. I think, G, I think for me, GSP... I think easily top three, man, for me. Of all time, of all time, maybe even top two. I, I'll say top two after Khabib. I was debating with John Jones, you, you but you didn't put John Jones first. I wouldn't put John Jones first. No, I, I think I put him third purely because his last three fights, his last three or last no last two fights, was absolute wank. He was so shit. You it was the last two or lot. It was either last two or last three. I can't remember. It was like, I can't remember. I think he's had he's had two fights after the latest DC fight, no? I think no, he's, I think he had Anthony Smith, um, Tiago. Oh, that's because Tiago Silva, Tiago Santos. Yeah, have Gustafsson, no? Is that his name? Gust- Gustafsson. Oh yeah, Gustafsson yeah. as well. But that he easily won. The Tiago Santos. That's and- that's mad as well because like I feel like the first Gustafsson fight was like it was so mad, like yeah, it was yeah. so so mad. Um. But yeah, man. But the second fight, he just came out of shape and like he just looked weird, and it was that wasn't a it wasn't really a, a close fight from mm. what I remember. But bro, how you bro, how you fucking nearly um, how you nearly losing a fight against Dominic Reyes, bro? I don't know, man. I still think do you know what I mean this guy. I feel like obviously his his career got de- derailed, didn't it? He derailed it himself. That's true, isn't it? Finally, I remember that time where he like it was a hit and run on a pregnant lady, and then went back for the money. Or something, or went back for weed or something. Weed, yeah. But in his defense, he didn't know that it was, she was pregnant. Not that he's it makes still, it better. He's still. It doesn't make it any better, but. Um, yeah, man. 
But I'd, I'd like even and even like with the PEDs thing, like he got caught with steroids twice. The what? PEDs. Oh. <laughs> oh, he that's, didn't. That's he a... didn't get why he said that. You had to go watch episode one. Yeah, was it episode, cool it was episode one, didn't it? That's a callback all the way to episode one. For yeah, you. that was like the first. Like that. that was like the first like sort of teaser, isn't it? Yeah, PEDs. He, he don't sound like he done English. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, wow. Um, but yeah, you got caught. You got caught with steroids twice. I think t- t- like three times actually. Mm. And then like two of them was against DC. So it's like, you know, what I'm saying like it's bare. Like it's like a debatable kind of thing. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Mm. Yeah. But then well, even th- even even like well, was it the third time he came back and he he was like clean and everything. He still beat DC. Do you know what I mean? No, he, I, he was he was he clean then? I think he yeah. pissed. The last, no, the I, last, no. the last fight he came out clean, and I can tell you because he was he was the fight was more even at that point. Until he got a head kick, innit? Yeah. But yeah, but, yeah. Sorry, yes, yes. <laughs> yes. On, a, on a UFC tangent, it's calm man. it's calm. But yeah, so you know what it was? Yeah, so like obviously, I understand it would be. I, I, they keep. They came out with the slogan that like it would it would ruin football for the fans, yeah. Um, but like Sky Sports kind of came up with that slogan, and when I look at it, it's like these men just w- were were upset that they wouldn't get the bag. I feel yeah. like. Yeah. Do you know what I mean when I, when I saw like Gary Neville, Jamie Carragher talking passionately, all the Sky Sports here talking passionately about how like it's going to ruin football and stuff like that, yeah. Yeah, it'll ruin football for you. Do you know what I mean? Because mm-hmm. then you won't have the money. They're employed by Sky Sports as well, isn't it? Yeah, do you know what I mean? Like, when it comes to, like, people saying, oh, fans are going to get priced out of the game, which is true, they would. But, like, we've been priced out of the game. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, how much is a ticket to go to the game? It's like... Hence why, yeah, I, I didn't uh, I didn't grow up watching football, fam. My, bro, having Sky Sports for me was like, if you had Sky Sports for me yeah, back in the day, fam, you were gone. Like, Usually, you, were, you, clear, you, be, you were clear. You were clear. The, no, the way no. I saw it is like if you if you had Sky Sports as a kid, you basically had a dad that cared about football. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, do you know what I mean? For like for like for, for me, my parents' money was like prioritized in other places, but we're not. Yeah. If I'm the only one watching football, there's no point in putting money into Sky Sports. Do you know what yeah. Mean? Even like um when when they were all like boycotting the Super League, yeah, one of these mm-hmm. football players was saying like, oh, um, that the the magic of the Champions League can't be bought, um. <laughs> They were listing off like epic moments in it, like Zidane's Zidane's goal in the tra- in the final, um, fucking a bear of them, and then they were like uh, Kaka's, you know Kaka. Yeah, of course. Uh, yeah, he was a bad boy, man. But he like his goal against Man United, uh, solo goal against Man United, the semi finals, yeah, and it, it can't be bought. Everyone has to watch it, and I'm thinking, bro, me and probably like half the rest of the country didn't watch it because that leg was on Sky Sports, fam. Do you know what I mean? So like you're you're preaching to the wrong choir, fam. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I didn't watch that. Do you know what yeah. I mean? Half the games were on Sky Sports, so we missed out on the away legs for games. And then when we grew older, they all went on to BT Sport. Like who? Mm. I, I I wasn't paying for BT Sports back in the day. So imagine monopolizing the game. And then they had the cheek to like put out a statement saying like football is for the fans. You shouldn't have to like pay to. Bro, we pay you to watch it. I lie. Do you know what I mean? Well, honestly, that's why. That's why when all these, all these like corporations do all these like things for the people, I just look at them like you're not, you're not for the people. Yeah, for real, I lie. You, you're for your own pocket, and that's it. Do you know what I mean? That's why you might drop a Titan League, fam. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Man, I think I'm joking. Just give me, give me three years. You know, you know. Sometimes yeah, I just sit, sit there thinking to myself, if we had an eleven aside team yeah who would play in what position like how would the games go what position would you be play me i'm kind of unfit right now in it so i'll probably be a coach at, at your peak condition on my peak condition Wh- which which pool of players are we talking about from though like whoever you would choose from in it so like the mandem yeah yeah at my peak condition yeah i have a holding midfielder or like I have a left back or left wing. Do you know what I mean? There's obviously people that will play it better than me that I know. Uh, I, have to, running, I, to be honest, I have to put myself on the team. But you said at my peak condition, when I was yeah. in 
year 11, I was okay with running a lot. Well, stamina daddy, yeah? No, 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 no. I used to, I used to play, like, I used to go football, like, pretty much every day, innit? Like, I tell him, I like, used to, I like used to go to the same, um, it was a youth club, as thing, innit? As Sterling, I like. Yeah, Raheem Sterling. But I didn't yeah. play with him, though. He was, yeah, he, no, was no. he was gone before I, I was there. Yeah. That's sick. And you, man, you man had the same manager and that, innit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Clive Bennington, man. That guy is sick. Um, but yeah, we did play football with, uh, you know, Sharky. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I was yeah. there, remember, at that church thing. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I remember when we we all, like, finished the season and we finished all our GCSEs and everything. And then Clive, our manager at the time, he Clive's a G, you know, I can't lie. He was such a G, fam. Yeah, that's, that's the second time he took us to that church. Well, I'll tell you about the first one in a second, but, like, the second time he took us to church was, like, he got, he's like, oh, we're, we're like, he's like, guys, we're not going to have training this week. Uh, we don't have a match. Just come to training in, like, nice clothes in it, like a suit and a tie and stuff in it. Uh, and then we go to the church and then we, we did, we did have to, like, I was going to say we had to sit through, but we enjoyed, like, the, they had, like, a, like a, a youth event in it. Where like younger people were speaking about like give basically giving Christian Dawah in it. Um, <laughs> are you laughing? <laughs> well, because I called it Christian Dawah. Mm. Yeah, I don't know what the what the word for sermons in it. It's called sermon. Yeah. Yeah. So they're giving sermons and advice and stuff here. And then at the end, to be honest, we didn't even know this. Like there was a couple of, and then AB came as an assistant to the cameraman. Bro, I was so bro, and then everyone's there with suits, and I was there there. Just literally, just like like a hood rat fam, and then uh, I'm just like, this is, oh. and then um, and then my man was out. Like, oh yeah, go stand over there and take pictures, and like, I'm seeing all the man did me, and I'm thinking blood. Like, why am I taking pictures of the man for? Like, am I a dickhead? I done it anyway. It's 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 because our cameraman came. He and I think you were with our cameraman at the time. Like, you just you guys were just out and about. Yeah. And he's like, yo, I'm going to go do this thing and you might as well come with me. No, but yeah, that's so basically I was going to go check him for something else, yeah? yeah. So I checked him and he's like, yo, why aren't you wearing like a suit and like, or something? I was, like, what? I was like, oh, like, oh, can you go home and change or something like that, yeah? From blood, like, what are you talking about sort of thing? You know? I thought you were going to do like something else, yeah? Yeah. And then and he's like, yeah, I'm going to do this and this and that and like this, isn't it? And he's like, and I, was, and I was thinking, bro, why didn't you just tell me, like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> But then he's you like, know, no. you know, it was, you know, it was probably for so like basically he was wearing a suit, yeah. So then he can be in the pictures, and you'd have to take the pictures. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know I mean, that's what I, I, I just thought of that now. You're like, that's probably why he done that, you know. But he wasn't even in the pictures anyway. Like, he was in some of the pictures. Was he? Yeah, he's wearing a suit in it, so like you had to take the pictures and he's like. Yeah. But yeah, but that was a good day. Oh, so like, it was then, a good day still. We done then, the sermon, and then they took us to the back to like eat. I think it was jollof rice in it. Yeah, so I don't know. Yeah. And I yeah, think yeah, I yeah. think I spoke to Clive for a bit as well, man. Yeah, man, cool guy. And then like this footballer oh, cool. came in it. We all know this footballer. I'm not gonna name names. In it. This, this, bro, he's he, bro, he's a streets Voldemort fan. I don't know about that, but he's a local footballer in it. Like, that's made it onto like FIFA and stuff in it. Uh, and he's played for our teams in Power League, so we know we know him from Power League. We know because he's, he's our old donor. Um, I think he was playing for like Wickham Wanderers at that time in it. I don't know. I, I, bro, yeah. I just remember him grilling like a certain man he, fam, and I was he, there. Just he, come, he comes into like the church back room, yeah, and he got and he goes and it, bear in mind, yeah. Oh, so some sound in my, uh, so bit, bear in mind, yeah. Actually, no, I'll tell you that in a second. But like, he comes into the back here, yeah, and he goes, "Yeah, what are you man saying? Like, yeah, you got all these awards in it for like doing well in school and stuff." And we're like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah." Um, and then he's like, "Yeah, yeah." Let me just tell you, like, yeah, fuck your teachers, fuck school. Fuck everything, blood. Yeah. Just just focus on football, yeah. Bear in mind, I'm a I'm a I'm a fat, small, unfit, basically. You went brown. fat then. Yeah, I wasn't fat in it, but like this compared was in year to ten. Yeah, eleven. Yeah, eleven. Because at the end 11? of the, when we got our GCSEs, remember? Oh. Yeah, wow. yeah, yeah, yeah. So so and like, I'm 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 I I like football. I love football. In fact, yeah. But when it comes to like training for football and becoming a footballer, I'm very unserious. Like that I knew that was never ever gonna be a possibility for me. And this guy's here going, Yeah, fuck school, fuck your teachers. He's like, fuck, fuck your parents. It's because he was part on road, innit? So I said, fuck your parents. <laughs> <laughs> fuck everything, just just focus on football. And I'm thinking, bro, who are you giving this advice to? Yeah, so half of us are not gonna make like, not even half of us, bro. 90% of us don't like aren't really going to make it in football professionally. Certain, certain man didn't make it through school or for football, so do you know what I mean? So I was just like, 
what is going on right now? Like, I'm getting a lecture in the back of the church from a guy who's telling me to like put all my life work into football, and like, yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, it's yeah, not gonna yeah. happen in it. And then yeah, after that, they took us into the front. They were like, well, I thought that was the end of the ceremony, and they're like, okay, so we've got people from the Alpha Omega Football Club, uh, and we're gonna. They've done really, really well at school for the GCSEs, and we're gonna give them awards for what they're gonna go study at sixth form and, and college. And I, I was like, damn, this is like. It was more recognition that then I got in the to school, innit? Yeah, yeah, hundred, bro. Clive's a G. I can't lie, bro. I, I would want that's one person I would actually like want to sit down and talk to. You know, Clive, Clive is a G, bro. Bro, if you don't know who Clive is and you're from North West, mm. move to East London or something, man. Because Clive's <laughs> is a bad boy, bro. Is is a is a life changer, man. Even, yeah, even man. like the the first time we went to that church, yeah. We were at Power League one day, like this is old Power League when it was next to Wembley Stadium. Wembley, and... oh my god, yeah, I yeah. remember them days, man. Bro, bro, it was so mad, yeah. Cause so was... many stories about that that place, bro. Because it was so mad, yeah. Because like, is the like is the place where everyone wants to go play football, mm. and the place where the maddest beasts, not the maddest bro. beasts, but it will kick off like regularly. Wallahi, when the first time I ever went to Power League, when it opened, when we went to like the opening day tournament in it. Mm-hmm. And like I've never I've never seen the power league or stepped in the power league before in my life before that moment in it. This was when I was like 14, 15 or something. Innit? No, uh, we I think 14. Because I think it opened in year 10. Yeah, 10, yeah. So I was either yeah. 14, 15, whatever. Yeah. So like this is the like our first time going to power league in it. And I'm thinking this place, like people are telling me, yeah, I've had birthday parties there and stuff. It's sick. It's sick. You can do that, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you can do yeah. that so in goals as well. Yeah, so I'm thinking this place must be sick in it. And we all got, like, even before we ever set foot in the place, we all got into teams in it. And the whole week, everyone was just chatting, oh, what, you in that team? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I like, yeah, haven't practiced yeah. matches during, like, uh, lunchtime and stuff in it. Yeah. And I remember, well, like... We slide tackling on, con- on concrete. You know? <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> like, you're so, you're so, so, <laughs> so go But on. I remember, I remember you, yeah, like, even if we were all on different teams, we all went on like the 302 bus together. Like we all went to the 302 bus stop and we all like traveled to. So we all had that like yo, the 302 we're going day, on a, the 83, a away day. Yeah, 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 we're going on a away day, innit? So you're not 302, sorry. It's the 83. Yeah, you need to get the 83 from yeah. just further down the road, innit? Yeah. Uh, yeah so You'd have to get the 302 like, as well. You can walk there. To the, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, right, yeah, 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 yeah. So then, uh, so we're all like hyped up and stuff in it. And I swear yeah. to when we got there, yeah, I'm seeing people from. People that I, I I know of, like it's like a high and buy situation, right? Yeah. But there was a team called Rookies in it, and they mm-hmm. had players that used to play. For, they were at at that time they were playing for Chelsea Academy, Fulham Academy, Arsenal Academy, um, all these different teams. And then those people from other schools that we knew in the area as well. Yeah, yeah. They all made their teams. Well, do you know what it felt like? I don't mm-hmm. know if you've ever watched Dragon Ball Z, yeah. Like the old school Dragon Ball, when when like Goku used to sign up for a tournament. And then you see all the characters from the, like the episodes before they all just jump in, and like I well I just felt like an anime tournament like we all all these people from Northwest came yeah you know, yeah and like we're yeah. gonna like test our strength against each other do you know what yeah, I mean like yeah. you know it's kind of like you know like in Warrior that that tournament basically yeah 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 yeah, yeah, you know yeah. What I mean yeah. I was like bro this is so sick and worst, the worst thing is yeah I think the first time I went I didn't sign up in it so I didn't play that that one but I was still so excited just to, like just, just to, to be, be there. there. Yeah, yeah, and then like ever since then, I feel like power, that that power league was like my life, and we used to go like every we joined the league, um, we joined cups all the time. Every time I was half them, but yeah, yeah, but, man, power yeah. league used to bang, but then they fucking ripped it down, fam. Yeah, stopped, so, to be honest, we stopped going a couple years before they ripped it down, but yeah, but then that, that's kind of linked to the story in it. So like we were at power league. This is like when we were. Again, when we were in year eleven this time in it, so we'd mm. been going to power league for a long time, like every week in it. And yeah. then one week, people are f- people are fighting on the pitch in it, mm-hmm. and you like we this, obviously you guys know me as like the very calm guy in it. Yeah. When it comes to football, like every, even even I get emotional in it. Yeah. Do you know what I mean, people get emotional on the pitch. They did it, and but usually what happens is like you get emotional. People say step outside the cage. Blah, blah, blah. People squash it, and then once you do step outside the cage, it's gone. That's it. It's finished. Yeah, it? yeah. Because yeah. you can chat whatever you can say. You can say your mom's a whore. You can say whatever you want inside dinner. Like, yeah, yeah. As soon as you step past the thing, it's gone. Yeah. It? But this time, these two people like um, they were beefing. They were beefing, and then they stepped outside. Yeah, and I think one of them must have got rushed. And the guy who got rushed called all his guys from and we'll cut this part in it. And then yeah, the, the guy got stabbed from. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. As in the guy who rushed him. The guy who the guy who banged him up. Yeah, got got stabbed. 
And I, I, I believe he died as well. Well, bro, is it? Yeah, yeah. So then I think, I think, I think it was because of that. Like basically, the next week we go to we go to training in it, and then Clive's like, um, you know, people like people your age are moving a bit mad. Uh, we're gonna go to the church and we're gonna. Like, I've called in a guy to like help you with your CVs in it. Oh, so like wow. you guys can stay focused on like studies and your education and all that stuff. So you're is literally. Is Clive still doing his thing? Yeah, I think he still he still works out for you know. Is it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I used to see him at, at Power League. We'd like we'd be at Power League, and there was in in our last league that there, on our league nights, his team used to play like the adult league after us, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Um, and there always used to be a, a different kid with him each week in it, and we'd be like to him, "Yo, who's the kid in it?" He's like, "Yeah, he was in he was like in trouble with the police, so his mum called me to go pick him up and like keep him Boy, with me in it." Your word, like, oh, yeah, man. he's really the neighborhood hero, fam. Yeah, man, sick guy, in it. He was on BBC as well to talk about that. It was when Raheem Sterling, the end was getting onto about his gun tattoo or something, didn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. man. Was, yeah, and he was bigging him up on, on BBC, fam. He's a G, fam. I can't lie, man. Yeah, he's a sick guy, man. Um, I miss him, you know, I can't lie. But yeah, one time, I don't know if you were there, but one time we went to Power League because we had a league, league match that week as well. And you know Olympic Way, yeah, it's hella gentrified now, isn't it? And yeah. we saw we saw that you guys, by the way, yeah, yeah, we saw it happen, fam. We saw all like the the, the, the scaffolding like just come out of nowhere, yeah, and like all those built like ho- all the hotels that like, come out of nowhere and everything, yeah. Because that was when we were there, that was empty, fam. There was nothing there, all. nothing, yeah. no civic center, no nothing. But it, it, we can move on to civic centers if 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 you want to in a, in a in a later part of the episode. But civic center was a madness as well. The civic center was a madness. Yeah, and then that so was we, I can't like that was like that might have been like towards the end of like the um how do I put this. Demon days, like the the no the misbehaving days. You know what I'm saying? Like I think after that there was only like a few little madnesses. But Civic Center there was like a madness like every week, like sign like someone's that. Like, oh, we're getting to another thing, but it was a madness. Mm. Were you there when that madness kicked off? The lot, the mm. biggest madness that kicked off in Civic Center. The one where bro, I was running after you, fam. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> what do you mean? I was right behind you, fam. <laughs> You know, the, you know, the worst thing is, yeah, so, like, I was telling this story about that. I was saying that story at work, innit? Yeah. And then, and then like, Pride goes, oh, bruv, was that you guys? When I was in, like, year 11, the library got locked off by the police, and I didn't realise it was you guys. <laughs> Such a oh. small world, the like. Oh, bruv. Yeah. But, yeah. Bro, I've was, I was seen this thing, yeah? We're talking, speaking of North Western, I feel like we've come off the ESL thing so much, but we'll 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 find our way back in it. Yeah. But I, I, I was I was watching, you know, in Gasworks, isn't it? There's that thing where um, our hands like, oh, your album album went like platinum or something, isn't it? What's that? He says something like a compliment to uh, M Huncher. Mm-hmm. He's like, he's when he asked him a question, he's like, that's a proper good question. You fucking yeti. <laughs> 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 and I was I was just thinking to myself, yeah. That is so northwest, bro. I don't know if yeah, people do bro. that in other ends, yeah. But when yeah. we say yo to each other, we'll be like, yo, we say you cross eyed bitch. Yeah. We've done that. I, I say, I'm pretty sure I've done that. Uh, we've done that to each other a couple of times on, on the pod, fam. Do you know what I mean? I feel like it's, it's such a, like a northwest thing to do. And people, so, you know, sometimes, yeah, you know, when I like, when I'm saying something, like I'm sending the voice note to you or something, or like, or I'm just saying to my family, like, oh, this, this, this is what happened, didn't it? And then my mom would be like, why are you guys so mean to each other? Like she's not that's how friendship working. Yeah, man. Bro, can I just say, yeah, bro? Did you know the people message me like, "Yo, bro, are you actually cross-eyed, fam? I'm not actually <laughs> cross-eyed, fam." <laughs> I tell you how the joke came about, yeah. Well, it's not even it's so shit, fam. So basically, yeah, when I joined when I joined high school, yeah, like these ones high school, I joined late in it, and by these times, everyone already had like their, their cusses and that in it, yeah, like their nicknames or whatever, yeah. Mm-hmm. And I just came in and I was just sending for everyone. Do you get me? And then no one really had nothing to say back to man, yeah. Until this one nerd, yeah, this fucking nerd, fam. He was like, "Oh, you're kind of cross-eyed, you know, bro." It was so dumb, fam. Like, you know, I was like, "Oh, like, bro, I've never heard this cuss before in my life." Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, he's like, "Yo, bro, you kind of cross-eyed, you know." In four minutes, yeah, 
this is at the end of end of day f- um, form time, isn't it, bro? Somehow, as soon as I step out of the fucking playground, bro, everyone's calling me crosshead, fam. I was like, bro, what the fuck is going on? And then they just stuck, fam. Mine have started doing remixes and that. Now I was like, blood, what the fuck? You know, it's, you know, it's common, you know, because AV used to do that all the time, bro. For all the people listening at home, yeah, when it came to when it during the sixth form, yeah, there was there was there was legitimate causes. People had legitimate causes, uh, legitimate causes for people, for people in it. When it came to non-legitimate causes, yeah, it was AV and MH fam. These man used to, they, they, they would just come up to school and be like, yo, Kyojin, um, you got a white hair at the back of your hair. And it could be a complete lie, yeah. And everyone would be like, that's that's, that's not one that you said in there. I was trying to think of an example. Yeah. And yeah everyone yeah. would just run with it, like, raw, yeah, 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 bro. They, they, they can't stop calling you white hair. Do you know what I mean? Like, people will run with it. You'll never lose that nickname ever. Yeah. Was, that's what has karma for you, bro. Do you know what I mean? Bro, it's one, it's one. Costly, I don't care that like, I know it's not true in it, like you know what I'm saying. <laughs> you know, you know how I, I know, you know, just don't, stop you know how I know, just... yeah. That 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 you, it's not it's not it's not not deep to you, yeah. Because the amount of times, yeah, AB's come to me, like, am I really cross eyed? Because <laughs> <laughs> well, my hair is so much, fam, right, yeah. And then it's like see, believe it. A man of time with silly is like, yo, bro, you're actually kind of cross eyed, bro. Like, bro, what the fuck, like bro, I'm not. And then like, he starts playing, he just starts playing with me. I was like, fam, I'm actually cross eyed, bro. I started looking in the mirror and, like, and then. Start, you know what, oh. yeah? Speaking of, speaking of sixth form, and I think I found a way to bring it back to football, yeah? I remember I was in, I was in, in your year for a year. No, no, no. First year, we were all in the same year. But like, we're in a different part, like, we're in a different course kind of thing, innit? Yeah. So I didn't really chat to you that, that much that year, innit? Yeah. I'm still, I'm still cool with you, but I don't think I knew MH them not that much. Uh, I only yeah. knew MH from football and stuff in it. Yeah, yeah. And then the other man, like Deeps, I had no idea who Deeps was before six four minutes. You know what I mean? I knew Deeps was there, yeah, but I always thought he was like the rich you because I remember there was like something about him having a PS3 in his toilet and that, like <laughs> that he had a PS3 in, the, in every room. And then, um, and then, uh, and then, no, no, no. And his younger brother, fam. I I remember I used to I I used to tease his younger brother. Yeah. yeah. And then. Um, I still tease him whenever I see him. So yeah, but yeah, yeah. so I, I didn't I didn't know these men that weren't it, and then um, so it comes to second year sixth form, and all my all my boys had left in it. They got kicked out basically, uh, <laughs> and I was I was the lone surviving. And then I remember I was I was speaking to AB, and then he I think I knew MH as well. So but and I knew uh, uh I'm going to give another name, but I knew, so I, I I said yo to you lot yeah, and then I think I, I don't know somehow I just like joined your group in it. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then, and then I remember like me, MH, and the other guy. I can't yeah. be bothered to bleep out names, yeah, so I'm yeah. just gonna say the other guy. Yeah, he, he shall not be named. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we were all just talking about football, yeah. And, they, and then I think we saw you coming from a distance, innit? And they were like, "Yeah, yeah, uh, Kyojin, just to warn you, yeah." AB said, "He's he's if if we speak about football, he's not gonna talk to us." <laughs> when did I say that? Did I say that? <laughs> well, like. <laughs> These man came with a pre disclaimer warning, a pre like a pre disclaimer, yeah, that we weren't allowed to talk about football around you because you feel like. <laughs> <laughs> so I remember for like the first like two months, yeah, like I would literally be like, "Yo, did you not watch the football?" Yeah, they'd be like, "No, no, ABC, ABC." Oh my god! And then, and then I think like we were talking about, and then we just we got passionate about, it. we start arguing about it. The one time I went to you, like, yo, like, are you all right? We were talking about football. He's like, bro, I tried to fight it, but what can you do? Yeah, yeah I, I was uh, I was overpowered, fam. But I, I don't remember this, bro. <laughs> yeah, I remember it, man. It was like on the first day. You were just, you were just like... <laughs> oh, bro, I miss them days. I miss that corner, fam. You know that that, that, that corner where the uh, lockers... Uh, own cor- cor- we had our own next corner. Next to the fucking... It was, the, it was that corner where the lockers are here and the vending machine is here. Yeah. The famous, the famous corner where someone threw a chicken wing over at Deeps. <laughs> <laughs> And they hit him in the head. Oh, that, the one of the men them end up marrying the person who threw the chicken wing. <laughs> mashallah, 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 man. Um, but yeah, I was trying to bring it back to football, innit? It yeah, happens, man. We we always, bro, it's mad, fam. I'm actually deep, bro. We bro, we've got so many stories, fam. Mm. It's mad. Slowly, slowly, we would. Uh, Release them out into the wild. Yeah. You know what I mean? 
my story, my stories are pretty calm to be honest, isn't it? They're just embarrassing, but nothing too mad. Yeah. You know what I mean? I keep it halal. Most of the time. <laughs> no, <I'm joking. laughs> Bam. But yeah, nah. His whole football thing, yeah. I don't know, man. I just I think the main thing I've just been thinking about is like I wish people would realise that's how that's how society is, isn't it? By the way, your hoodie looks sick, you know. Come on, put boy. put put a put a hood up. Uh, comment down below if you think he looks like the Kotsky, you know. Which Kotsky member do you think he looks like? My like Kotsky and that, that man there. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Kotsky, bro. A Kotsky. The Kotsky, the Kotsky members were socialists as well, you know. See, you see, that's what I'm saying. I didn't even know this. Like, I was, you know, what I'm saying, come like Izzy, fam. Ah, <laughs> uh, man. But yeah, man. Um, I don't know, man. See, with this whole like this this football thing, fam. Yeah. I don't know, man. I, I don't think is I don't think like all these people saying that is about the fans. I think all that fan shit is out of the waters now, man. Because I feel like it's more greed and like people people be even naive, man. Even before, as we were saying, like people people were talking about how like you know the owners of the clubs in it. Mm-hmm. To be honest, as an outsider who doesn't really know how like the the out the ins and outs of football, and like, doesn't this sound stupid? Yeah, people people were saying like, oh, when the owners come into a club. They're like they're not the owners of the club; they're the custodians of the club. So they need to do everything to make that club good, uh, and you, they shouldn't really expect to make money from that club. If we're being realistic, yeah, bro, who it's the a fuck business. Would want to buy a football club then? Exactly. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like the times where 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 clubs were for the fans and they were run by the fans, that is all gone. Once money came it's into gone. the picture, yeah, you can't gone. control that no more. You're being yeah. naive. Yeah, you know what I mean. People talking about oh Arsenal Arsenal owners and Liverpool owners need to sell their club yeah who are they gonna sell it to another exactly. rich person I lie <laughs> do you know what I mean what's the, what's the point and you know what else annoyed me uh, rubbed me the wrong way yeah people talking about oh yeah these owners coming from America Russia and and, and the UAE um they don't understand our football like a lot of it turned into very like xenophobic rhetoric in it. Like, what's the difference between a rich man in in from Russia and a rich man from the UK? They're yeah. both gonna screw you over, fam. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know what I mean, their 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 money is still built in in probably in an ethical way. Yeah. Either way, do you know what I mean? It's no difference if it's oil money or or money from owning Tesco's, fam. You know what I mean? Or or uh, uh, money inherited from owning slaves. Yeah, exactly. Do you know what I mean? Um, people people are like, oh yeah, we need to keep our football the English way, da da da, and stuff like that. Relax, man. Do you know what I mean? How many of these players that for your favorite team are English, fam? You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean, no, none of them, pretty much. Yeah. You know what I mean, but I think one thing that if we took away money from the from the Premier League, what would be good? We we'll start getting world class world class English footballers again. You know, do you know what I mean I feel like money has ruined England as a national team. You know. Do you feel like it's diluted football? It's because everyone wants to come to the Premier League, so like people, bare like sick players are coming from other countries, isn't it? Yeah, and then the English youngsters they just don't get a chance because you know, yeah, they're not as good as, or they, they they take more time in it than yeah. these ready-made players from like France and yeah, exactly, yeah, Spain and that in it, yeah. But yeah, man, people people, people being naive, man. Like we, well, let's be honest, we don't own football. You know what I mean, yeah, I mean, I mean, I could, how, how many games have you been to? I've been to best or Okay, okay. That's because you went with like a seasoned like a uh, member in it. Yeah, but you, even then, like people people don't realize people are like, oh yeah, all these memories that I had in f- watching football games. You have to realize that like if if your pops likes football, then you probably had that upbringing. Exactly. If your pops didn't like football, you have to watch things on YouTube. Yeah. Or like watch the matches three weeks after they came out or watch match. Bro, I I used to have to beg my mom to stay up to watch matches the day from. Do you know what I mean? Is it? Do you do you think I used to watch these matches live? I don't have Sky Sports. Do you know what oh, I mean? So. Like, they they were all on Sky Sports, so what, what, how could I watch it? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's yeah, that's mean? that's that's why I couldn't I couldn't watch none of these games, man. Yeah, so people acting like oh we're priced out, we've been priced out, innit? No lie. It's mad, Joke, man. man. Joke, man. But, but it's, it's I, the I, game, I, though, isn't it? Yeah, I do want to make it clear though, I'm very against the 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 European Super League. Uh but then the other thing is as well is like what do you think about this? People were saying like the clubs who did it, yeah, they should get like mad punishments, like a hundred point deductions, 
uh, banned from banned from playing from Europe. People were saying that, yeah, because they're saying that from. The, I'm, I'm assuming they support clubs that weren't in the found that had found in was a six or twelve. Uh, from England, six, but the yeah. overall twelve. Bro, they're acting like if they weren't if they weren't if they didn't get the fucking call up, they wouldn't go running from who. Which club would turn down three hundred m's? Especially the shit ones with like fucking I don't know like I, I don't know like fucking Burnley or some shit. I agree, man. I agree. Who, people, like, who, people which club? Keep... Which club would have turned down 300, 300 m's for nothing? Literally for nothing. People coming on this high horse like, oh yeah, we, we built football and we would have stayed true to football. It's, it's, it's nice that. to think you would, but you, I yeah. don't think you would though. People, people, people are saying that, bro. I want to know how many games have they been to, bro? Like if they they, they support their club so much, how many games have they been to? You know what mm. I'm saying? And I just think like with, with punishments, yeah. What what did the fans do to to deserve yeah, that punishment? Exactly, what did the, what did the, what did the players do? The players didn't know about it until we yeah, found out about it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. The, yeah. the manager didn't know either. And the other thing that annoys me, yeah, is that like, okay, the Super League was a bad idea. Mm. I I don't want, I don't think it's right to punish people so harshly, to the point where they think having an idea is bad. Yeah, I, you know what I mean, they, they shouldn't have gone. They shouldn't have gone ahead and like forced the forced the idea and, and gone through with it without asking us first. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But that, but that doesn't mean they shouldn't have had the idea. I do believe that they will, they, they might do something like that in the future, though. Yeah, I think you know, so they, too. They just tried it. PR. Yeah, they just tried it and just didn't. It just didn't run this time. But they'll they'll try to run it like another time, like. Because even yeah. even when you read like the apologies from the clubs and stuff, yeah, in the clubs yeah. they always say like we felt this was the right thing to do and we pulled out because of the, the backlash. Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah, and we feel like the issues that you got, the the problems that you had with the Super League would have got sorted out within the first few months. We would have made sure of that. Um, so I think they will probably iron out those issues then and run it again, innit? Yeah, I'm gonna be honest. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not opposed to having another league on top of Champions League. You know? Oh yeah. Yeah, because I feel like it would be sick to play big teams, isn't it? But it's like it's like it's. I think it's the whole aspect of like not having to qualify and all of that, isn't it? Yeah, as in like I, I would make it so that you have to qual- like only the top teams could qualify every year. Do you know what I mean? Oh, okay, and, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah, and they do like their own thing, and then there's still the Champions League which you have to qualify because the other thing is if they go to the Champions League, you in the Premier League you'd only play to win the Premier League then because you're already in the other league. Yeah. yeah, I heard that um they're they're gonna reform the Champions League though. Yeah, they make it into like this thing called a Swiss model, isn't it? What's that? Which people are angry about, but then again, I feel like it's it's a pretty cool model on it. So like basically, usually there's thirty two teams in the in the Champions League in it, mm-hmm. and then they go into groups of four based on like there's one sick team, there's one good team, and then there's one average team, and then there's one kind of dead team. If we're being honest, in it. Oh right, okay. Uh, but they're all they're all meant to be Europe's best in it, so it kind of works out. Yeah. Um. So you play the group of four. You play f- two matches against each team. So you play six matches in total in it. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then two teams from every every um, group goes home in it. So that's basically 16 teams have to go home after the first round of games in it, after six games. That's uh, about yeah, but then now what they're doing is like now every team is guaranteed to play 10 games. Uh, is this in the, oh, in, in the Champions League? In the reform, yeah, in the reform. Oh, okay. uh, so what it's going to be now is there's going to be 36 teams and they're all going to go into one big league in it. Uh, but they're only going to play against. They're only going to play ten games, so against ten opponents based on mm-hmm. seedings, and then the top um, is it the top eight? I think mm-hmm. the top eight are going to qualify for the next round, yeah. and then the, and then the next sixteen are going to have matches like uh, playoff matches yeah. to see what other eight teams should go and qualify. Okay, and then it's going to be like normal, just knock around round of sixteen. Yeah, uh, but it seems pretty cool. But I think what people are worried about is like they can exploit the teams and make them play more matches if it's a league in it. I think people are just afraid to change, man. Could be, yeah, yeah. And, and I, f- I feel like this idea of being afraid of um, all these governing bodies and all these companies exploiting you for money like, what do you think they're there for, fam? I lie. You know what I'm <laughs> I mean, <laughs> pe- people were acting like Sky was showing us football for free, and they weren't. I lie. Rob me, rob me of my childhood, fam. I could, I, I could have been, I could have been a football fan. Do you know what I mean when people people talk about like, oh, who, who's better, Messi, Ronaldo? Like, yeah, I've only seen them in Champions League football, bro. When it was on ITV. Other than that, oh yeah, 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 yeah. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't got. I can't back it up. <laughs> do you know what I mean? <laughs> oh, 
But yeah, man. We need to make a super league for um for Titan Talk, innit? Come, that will bang. You know, no, I mean, like, we do like two episodes a week, innit? And me and you automatically qualify. Like, <laughs> the other, other three have like a warm up. They have to do that like, hey. And then you whoever we got as the me. MVP on the warm up podcast, yeah, you get you get promoted to the, the, the episode for the weekend. The episode, yeah. <laughs> That's sick. You think, are people still um, taking a part in that? that um, the vote? Yeah, the voting thing. Uh, I don't think we really, really plugged it like that, I like. Yeah, but if you're listening uh, and you're remember to vote for your MVP every week, um, then this week's this is just a casual conversation. So it probably won't be MVP. I mean, um, you came with the facts, so no, nah, but then so just like remember to vote. Uh, it's the first um link on our link tree, and we're going to use it for a video because I feel like a lot of feelings are going to be hurt. Um, and these lot haven't seen the answers yet, but from what I've seen, my feelings are going to be hurt quite a bit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but some of you, I'm not going to name names. You're in for an awakening about what the fans think of you. You know, what the Titans at home think of you guys. This this doesn't sound good. Mm. But yeah, so that was the the ESO. Podcast. I feel like it was one that we f- forgot to do it as it's the ESL meeting, fam. It's two of the founded fathers. <laughs> founded fathers, you know. Yeah, come on, bro. Yeah, yeah. The maddest thing is, yeah, we started talking about USC after that. We were like yeah. ESL, and they were like, you know, USC, USC, uh, Northwest London, then Power League, then uh, yeah. Civic Center, then Clive, the yeah, Clive, <laughs> big up Clive I mean? though. Next guest, next guest. No, I'm joking, I'm joking. Hopefully, one day, you know, actually, would, that would be so sick, innit? That would be sick. Um, Have you still got his number? I can get it easily. Uh, I saw you pull up on him, man. Tell him come studio. Yeah, I'd, I would have him in a in a in a flash, you know. Same. You know I mean? Same. That's, 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 that's a that's a, a I was gonna say a childhood hero, but like a teenhood hero. Bro, he's the neighborhood hero, bro. I want to be like Clive when I'm older. <laughs> <laughs> no, in all seriousness, though, like, yeah, I would, you know, like, yeah, imagine being not? like a, a sick pillar of the community like that, man. Uh, that's another thing I want to touch on, you know. Actually, you know what? We'll speak about another pod. Like, go. On. What was it? No, I was gonna. Be, I'm just. I'm just gonna say about like Muslims and like South Asians just try like trying to have this exclusivity, like. Oh, you saw that video religion. today. Sorry, we might, well, we might as well do the Walla the Week last one. What was it? What was it? I, I saw a madness yesterday. You know. What was it? Um, it's American Muslims again. Uh, surprise, surprise, isn't it? No lie. Uh, this girl was like, Oh, white reverse, you need to understand that just because you become Muslim doesn't mean you can appropriate our culture and stuff like that. And what thinking, culture, bruv, blood? What, what I, was, is... I was thinking, bro, wearing a thobe isn't part of my culture ethnically. Do you know what I mean? Wearing a thobe is my part of my culture religiously, not do you know what I mean? Eth- ethnically, my people don't wear thobes, do you know what I yeah. mean? So, like, if, if, if I can wear one. Yeah. Why can't why can't Darren whose whose na- name is now Abdul why can't he wear it, fam? I mean, what's the difference? Yeah, American Muslims make me laugh, but I have to speak up for them in it because it's 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 one of them things where I've just been thinking to myself like all these years like why are American Muslims so tapped here, but I did well, I did why it is why it's because their country is so Islamophobic that it's, it's like it's, yeah. it's seeped into them in it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you know what I mean like they don't. They always try and get rid of the aspects of them that make themselves too seem too visibly Muslim or like going against the norm. Because in America, bro, Islamophobia is a madness in America, fam. Yeah, I mean, you know how I bet it is. Yeah, like this is gonna sound mad, isn't it? But I remember during like the um, the protests for George Floyd. Yeah, Mm -hmm. Um, there was police there. There obviously there were riot police and everything. And this one guy, he was African American, and he goes, he goes. Obviously, the right to protest is important. Uh, I, I need to preface it with that just so I don't, it doesn't seem mad. But in all seriousness, this is what he said. He said to the police, he's like, this isn't Iraq. This is not Afghanistan. We're not them people over there. Why are you killing us? And I was thinking, those people in Iraq, in, I was about to say Iraq. Use Iraq. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> those people Afghanistan. In, in Iraq and Afghanistan, bro, they're people as well. They don't deserve to die. You can't use them as like emotional fodder. Bro, this I mean, is just ignorance because then they don't even know why America put bases in them countries there in the first place, bro. Yeah, 
it's 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 so mad that I, I I look at a clip like that yeah, and I think all Americans view Muslim people and their lives so so cheaply. Yeah, Do you yeah, know what yeah I mean, yeah. to use them in a, use them in an argument like that. Yeah, 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 it's a joke to me. What the hell, like, bro? Is it my, my bro, let's not act like it don't happen here, fam. Yeah, but it, it, over here they're more quiet about it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, <laughs> over here it's like. I'll, I'll, I'll be cool with someone for years and years and then we'll leave six home. I've told you, but I've said this so many times in it, but we'll leave six home and then all I see is that they're, they're sharing Islamophobic posts on Facebook or Twitter. And I'm like, right, I didn't know it was like that. You've been saying you're to me all these years and Blood, it's like that. Bruv, I'll say the second year six home is when man saw bare man's true colours, fam. Trust me. When, you know what I'm saying? When certain things happen, mm. you get me? So bare man's true colours, bruv. Man was saying a man was um, brainwashed. Um, a man was sending a man um, paragraphs and that about whatever about um, yeah, about religion and that. Man, like, like bear man was having debates with the shoe. Like, bro, I felt sorry for the shoe, fam. The shoe was just some like was some any got a kid, fam. You know what I'm saying? He's just living man, his life, for like. Yeah, fam. Man, this 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 little youth from the hood, he just tried to get his mind right. You know, get himself right and that. And it was and Bearman was trying to argue with the shoe fan. The shoe is just a just a good you, you know what I'm saying? He but, wasn't that good. No, he was good. <laughs> I remember one person, yeah. There's one person, she was at to the shoe, um uh like oh like I'm so glad like um that you went down this path because she was bare worried about the shoe, about where he was gonna go in it, like man could have turned left and that. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And like, th- like this is the type of you that people are trying to debate and saying this you was brainwashed or not. You know what I was, I'm saying? Yeah, I was, I was thinking like, yeah, how mad that is. Like, obviously this brother, if you, if you, if you look at his life, the way that it was going, not go. I would, you know what I mean? I feel like it's cliche to be like, oh, the way he was going, we would end up in dead and jokes. I don't think it was that bad. Isn't it? it wasn't that bad, but it was. It could have. Uh, like you know, it was. It was I, like I feel like close. it was like w- wasted potential in it. There was a lot yeah. of wasted potential there in it. Yeah. And then like. Even if you don't like agree with Islam or whatever, yeah. If you see your brother, like your friend, like a, make a positive change to his life, and now he's like, he's like, he's he's focusing more in school. He's chilling with people who have like have their head screwed on there to an extent, in it. Like I still feel like the man them still we kind of still he was still messing about in life, in it. Yeah. Uh, but like compared that's to that's embedded that's embedded in the shoe that the shoe you can, that you can never take out of the shoe, you know. But yeah. He's a good dude, though. You know what I'm saying? Then. It was all right. People just <laughs> <laughs> people just hate him uh, you, fam. Like, I wonder what he's doing now. You know, I don't really like. I never really liked him. No, nah, he's got. He's he's good. I, I speak. I chat to the shoes still. You, you chat to him. Yeah, yeah. How, how many he's bad. He's bad. Like, like he's obviously he's exactly like me in it. So I'm like a fuck with the shoes still. Oh, that's cute, man. That's cute. But yeah, he's um. Like, I remember this youths coming up to like people, like these kids from the other block, the younger block, because they heard that he turned, he turned Muslim and that. And they were coming up to him, like, like spotting him, like, he's like, yo, like, teach me, teach, telling him, telling the shoot to teach them about religion and that, taking his number down and that. Yeah, come on, bro. When, when, obviously, we're talking about our brother here, right? Yeah. When, they when, got when my he... man, though, you're a G still. If you're watching this, you're a G. <laughs> <laughs> When he when he reverted, yeah, it was kind of like a like a reversion for all of us. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like all all, all of the Muslim brothers were like, "Yo, this guy's." We 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 were like going through the motions in it. Like we were going to prayer just because we had to. Da da da. All that stuff. Yeah. And they were like, "Okay, this guy has never had like no Muslim upbringing. Like no other Muslim influence other than like the Mandem and YouTube videos, basically." Isn't it? Yeah. Um and like, and other other like orders and stuff in it. I think there was orders in it. Yeah, I, uh, yeah. Yeah. And I'm thinking like, bro, I've had Quran classes from young. I've had this. I've had that. You know what I mean? Like. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I, and I and I'm moving like this. It's kind of mad, isn't it? So then it, it kind of inspired me to like even now. Yeah. There's this uh there's this one um I think he's Chinese in it. He's on TikTok. He's a mm. Chinese brother who recently reverted to Islam in it. Yeah. And if, if uh, you shouldn't really expose your sins in it, but if you if man them know me that I'm not been really too on it the last couple of years in it, yeah. I'm just I'm, I'm just doing my thing, but I'm not like how I was in six women. Yeah, yeah. 
And I was just looking at this this kid on 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 TikTok, Chinese kid. I'm thinking, raw like his his newfound love for Islam is so mad. Like I wish I I wish I put that effort into it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it kind of inspired me to be like, yo, maybe I should just I mean, put more effort into it. It's good, man. I feel like and, it, and then and then these times you get American Muslims be like, no, you need yeah, to you relax. Can't. Yeah, I lie, you can't. Right. You know what I mean? Get out of here, man. I lie. But that's what I'm saying, bro. Like, why can't like why can't like anyone, yeah? Why can't man just be happy for man's time? Like, you know what I'm saying? It's not like but if the same you was to go around, like, you know what I'm saying, like that like spending mad peas on like on a watch or like a car sign, they'd be like, Oh yeah, he's sick. He's sick, you know what I'm saying? But if a man wants to do like like real life things. You know what I'm saying? They want to, that, like, you know what I'm saying? Just chat their shit, bro. Yeah. But, so I feel what I'm like saying, it's the game. It's the game, but whoever, bro, that you, that you's gonna win regardless. You know what I'm saying? The Chinese shoe and the brother from school, like he's gonna win regardless. You know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. all your pussies that's hating right now, they're all bums, bro. They're all broke. So I feel like what what we've learned from this episode is fuck Sky Sports. Yeah. Fuck BT. And fuck all those Islamophobes that were trying to get onto us in sixth form. Yeah, man. Good night. Got, yeah. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> you mean Assalamu or Alaikum? <laughs> wa alaikum salam. <laughs> to all my South Asians out there, I laugh is. You're done, man. All right, it's time for fucking bottle. <laughs> Good night, good night, good night. <laughs> <laughs>